another day, another story. For roughly 2.5 million years, humans lived on Earth without leaving a written record of their lives, but they left behind other kinds of remains and artifacts. Earth's beginnings can be traced back 4.5 billion years, but human evolution only counts for a tiny speck of its history. The prehistoric period, or when there was human life before records documented human activity, roughly dates from 2.5 million years ago to 1200 BC it is generally categorized in three archaeological periods, the Stone Age, Bronze Age, and Iron Age. Welcome to Tarbo Eminent Channel. From the invention of tools made for hunting to advances in food production and agriculture to early examples of art and religion, this enormous time span, ending roughly 3,200 years ago, dates vary upon region, was a period of great transformation. The Iron Age marks a period in human history when cultures and civilizations began to extensively use iron for tools and weapons. It succeeded the Bronze Age and represents a time of significant technological, societal, and cultural advancements. The exact timing of the Iron Age varies geographically, as different regions adopted iron smelting and its widespread use at different times, but it generally spans from around 1200 BCE to 600 BCE in the Eastern Mediterranean and from around 800 BCE in Northern Europe, continuing until the rise of historical records and coinage. The discovery that iron or could be transformed into a much harder and more durable material than bronze was revolutionary. Iron tools and weapons were not only stronger but could also be produced in greater quantities once the techniques were mastered. The use of iron was not prevalent in the pre-Columbian Americas, and many societies moved from the Stone Age directly into the historical period with the arrival of Europeans, as they did not independently develop smelting technologies for iron. The Iron Age was a pivotal era that set the stage for the development of classical civilizations and, ultimately, the modern world. It was characterized by technological advancements, increased social complexity, and the formation of powerful states and empires. The Stone Age Divided into three periods, Paleolithic, or Old Stone Age, Mesolithic, or Middle Stone Age, and Neolithic, or New Stone Age, this era is marked by the use of tools by our early human ancestors, who evolved around 300,000 BC, and the eventual transformation from a culture of hunting and gathering to farming and food production. During this era, early humans shared the planet with a number of now extinct hominin relatives, including Neanderthals and Denisovans. In the Paleolithic period, roughly 2.5 million years ago to 10,000 BC, Early humans lived in caves or simple huts or teepees and were hunters and gatherers. They used basic stone and bone tools, as well as crude stone axes, for hunting birds and wild animals. They cooked their prey, including woolly mammoths, deer and bison, using controlled fire. They also fished and collected berries, fruit and nuts. In India, the Iron Age is often associated with the Vedic period, which is the foundation for much of Hindu philosophy and society. In China, the transition from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age is somewhat blurred due to the continuous evolution of bronze technology, but iron began to be more commonly used during the Eastern Zhou Dynasty. Origins of Man Ancient humans in the Paleolithic period were also the first to leave behind art. They used combinations of minerals, ochres, burnt bone meal and charcoal mixed into water, blood, animal fats and tree saps to etch humans, animals and signs. They also carved small figurines from stones, clay, bones and antlers. The end of this period marked the end of the last ice age, which resulted in the extinction of many large mammals and rising sea levels and climate change that eventually caused man to migrate. The origins of humankind, a subject of profound interest and research, delve into the fields of anthropology, archaeology, genetics, and paleontology. Understanding human origins involves exploring the evolutionary pathway that led to the emergence of Homo sapiens, the species to which all modern human beings belong. This journey through time is complex and marked by significant milestones that highlight our shared ancestry with other primates, 
the development of bipedalism, the use of tools, the capacity for language, and the development of culture and society. Humans are part of the hominidae family, which also includes our closest living relatives, chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans. The human lineage, hominins, diverged from that of chimpanzees and bonobos, our closest evolutionary relatives, around 6 to 7 million years ago in Africa. Australopithecines, like the famous Lucy, Australopithecus afarensis, are well known for their bipedalism. Despite their ability to walk upright, they had smaller brains and were primarily vegetarians. Mesolithic period During the Mesolithic period, about 10,000 BC to 8,000 BC, humans used small stone tools, now also polished and sometimes crafted with points and attached to antlers, bone or wood to serve as spears and arrows. They often lived nomadically in camps near rivers and other bodies of water. Agriculture was introduced during this time, which led to more permanent settlements in villages. Finally, during the Neolithic period, roughly 8000 BC to 3000 BC, ancient humans switched from hunter-slash-gatherer mode to agriculture and food production. They domesticated animals and cultivated cereal grains. They used polished hand axes, adzes for plowing and tilling the land and started to settle in the plains. Advancements were made not only in tools but also in farming, home construction and art, including pottery, sewing and weaving. The Bronze Age During the Bronze Age, about 3000 BC to 1300 BC, metalworking advances were made, as bronze, a copper and tin alloy, was discovered. Now used for weapons and tools, the harder metal replaced its stone predecessors, and helped spark innovations including the ox-drawn plow and the wheel. This time period also brought advances in architecture and art, including the invention of the potter's wheel, and textiles, clothing consisted of mostly wool items such as skirts, kilts, tunics and cloaks. Home dwellings morphed to so-called roundhouses, consisting of a circular stone wall with a thatched or turf roof, complete with a fireplace or hearth, and more villages and cities began to form. Organized government, law and warfare, as well as the beginnings of religion, also came into play during the Bronze Age, perhaps most notably relating to the ancient Egyptians who built the pyramids during this time. The earliest written accounts, including Egyptian hieroglyphs and petroglyphs, rock engravings, are also dated to this era. The Iron Age The discovery of ways to heat and forge iron kicked off the Iron Age, roughly 1300 BC to 900 BC. At the time, metal was seen as more precious than gold, and wrought iron, which would be replaced by steel with the advent of smelting iron, was easier to manufacture than bronze. Along with mass production of iron tools and weapons, the age saw even further advances in architecture, with four-room homes, some complete with stables for animals, joining more rudimentary hill forts, as well as royal palaces, temples and other religious structures. Early city planning also took place, with blocks of homes being erected along paved or cobblestone streets and water systems put into place. Agriculture, art and religion all became more sophisticated, and writing systems and written documentation, including alphabets, began to emerge, ushering in the early historical period. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.